Greetings, Earthlings. My internet is down, which means I don't get distracted by internet stuff, uh, which means I can make some videos and edit them. Just can't upload them until the internet gets uh, fixed and comes back on. So it gives me a chance to do another quick video. And what I thought I'd talk about here is how I go about developing the firmware for the OOD 11. Now all my programming is being done in assembly language because that's the way it was meant to be. And I'm using this thing called PDP 11 GUI, which I found online. And I guess this has a way to connect directly to a, uh, to an LSI 11 and actually load the code into RAM through the uh, ODT the debugger, and it also has the simulator built in, so you can simulate stuff. But in my case, I want to write the code to EEPROM, and that's why I called it firmware. Uh, so I have the uh, multifunction card, which is an MXV11 or M8047, for those keeping score at home, uh, which has sockets for two EEPROMs up to 4K by 8 each. So I can have 4K words of uh, EEPROM. And that's what I've got, 2732 EEPROMs there. Uh, for those who say, what's an EEPROM and why has it got that circle in the middle there and stuff? I don't know if you can see that. Um, that's to erase it. They're UV erasable and what you need is an ultraviolet light. I have this that I got on uh, eBay. There's a tube in there. I don't know if you can see that. It's called a Data Race 2. They don't make them anymore. Uh, like I said, I got it on eBay. Use that to erase it. And then This PDP-11 GUI lets me enter the program. It's got a, an editor here. I enter uh, the program. It's uh, Macro 11, assembly language. Um, and then uh, it's got a button to run Macro 11. Boom. <clears throat> that assembles it. And what I do then, that produces... Test is the source code, and you can see that that produced a listing file, test.lst, and there's also a hex version of that, which I don't use. What you can see here is it has the uh, source code line number, and then in cases where it's actually generating code, there we go, okay. So there's a line number, uh, there's an address, and then there's the octal value that goes in that address, and there may be multiple uh, instances, because a single PDP-11 instruction can be up to three words long. Uh, so, like here, here's uh, two words. So this is the actual start of the code, starting at 1,000 octal. Uh, move something to the stack pointer. Okay, move that value to the stack pointer. So this is the move instruction, and then that's the immediate uh, value. That I get. Okay, so the prom programmer that I have takes Intel hex format, and so I want to convert this to Intel hex format. And to do that, I have written a Perl program, once again. Um, and if we... Go back here, mkrom, right? Oops, mkrom.pl. Uh, and that will, that will uh, take the listing file. It didn't even generate, as you saw, it didn't generate a binary file for me. So I have to work from the listing file, or maybe I don't, but it's easy enough. And especially with Perl, which is so string-based, uh, that's the easiest place to work from. I'll take the um, uh, 
listing file and whoa all caps that's neat um, that's probably that'll probably work anyway uh, test dot list okay uh, so I run the Perl program and oh and there's another argument it needs, and that is the starting address of the prom. Because in in general, I mean, in my case, the proms are starting at location zero. But in general, the prom could be mapped anywhere into memory. And when you give the address to the prom programmer, you give it the address relative to the prom, which always starts at zero. But in memory, that may actually be location 1,000 or 10,000 or whatever. So I uh, give it the starting address. Boom. Okay, it runs. And now you see I have high and low dot hex here. And if we look at those... Uh, it's just real dumb Intel hex format where it's one record per byte, which could be a lot more efficient, but it doesn't need to be. So this program then generates the format that the prom programmer needs. I program the proms, pop them in the sockets, and I'm good to go. And that's all there is to it.